Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another video. And this video is a little bit different than what I usually do. I usually make tutorials on cool effects and different kind of styles of editing. But for this, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix this Sapphire plugin issue that I've been having and you guys may uh, have encountered. I'm going to pop up a few images before we get started, just so you guys kind of know what uh, issue I had. And if it's similar to yours, then it'll most likely fix your issue. But yeah, so the first one is a Sapphire issue and it says like the GP render failed for like the S underscore whatever like warp bubble and it's failing back to the CPU. And then another one that I got when I was trying to render inside of the render queue inside of After Effects was the GPU was running out of memory, which is really weird because in my PC I have a 3070 Ti which has tons of VRAM. So that's most likely not an issue with this because I'm just rendering this clip right here with only a few effects on it which the 3070 ti should be able to handle so for it to be crashing like that it was super weird so i'm guessing it has something to do with the sapphire plugins just not very updated and also they are cracked they aren't uh, actually licensed from sapphire so that could be a problem but i'm guessing most of you guys that have these plugins also have them cracked so probably a reason why it's happening but to fix this issue, what you're going to do is go on to one of your Sapphire plugins and or where it's happening at. You're most likely going to have to do this to all your Sapphire effects on your project. That's what I had to do on this one, but it may uh, be different for you. So when you have your Sapphire plugin selected like this S underscore glow right here, what you want to do is go to help and it may be checked or it should be checked right here. So your GPU, GPU acceleration available for your RTX 3070 Ti and it was on. So this check mark was on right here. So what I had to do to fix it was just uncheck it and then hit OK. And I just had to do that for all of these Sapphire effects. So go to help and this was enabled and I had to disable it. And I literally just had to do that for all of these uh, Sapphire effects, not the other ones, not like these uh, other plugins that I have, just the Sapphire ones. So also by disabling your GPU acceleration, you're gonna have a lot slower render times inside of the media encoder when it uh, goes to render these frames right here because it's gonna be rendering the effects with your CPU instead of your GPU. So depending on your CPU, it may take a while or maybe sort of fast, but usually it's just gonna be a lot slower with your CPU no matter what CPU you have. So just be prepared to wait a lot longer when rendering your videos using the CPU instead of your GPU, but hopefully this helped and solved your issue. And if it didn't, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you guys with other stuff that I've tried in the past that has kind of worked. So I'd like to hear you guys' feedback, but if this did help you, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll be posting more videos in the future. So stay tuned for more tutorials and hopefully no more like bugs and stuff or After Effects. So peace out and I'll catch you on the next one.